I don't know exactly where this originated from. Some say, you know, from Soviet Union. I want to talk about what it means to be a useful idiot and why this is such a dangerous thing and you want to avoid being a useful idiot, especially in the kind of political turmoil that we're in today in this society, in the world, really in the US, where we have this divisiveness and a lot of people are taking that role, unfortunately, of being useful idiots. I'm John from BulldogMindset.com on this channel. I teach you how to be a man. I teach you how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, how to get the girls that you want, and how to go from the victim mindset to what I call the bulldog mindset. What does it mean to be a useful idiot? And you can see this not just in, in mainstream politics, not just in Democrats and Republicans, but just throughout systems, uh, from whether that be churches or movements or whatever kind of agenda that someone has, you're gonna find that there are people at the top that are sort of orchestrating things that kind of have, a, have an objective. They, they know what they're trying to do. There's definitely people that start movements and they have an objective for that movement. And then there's all the other people that kind of pile on. And, and these are the people that you'd see on both the left and the right where they're saying stupid shit. You, they're not very educated, but they're very much gung-ho about, about who they support, right? You, you'll see this, you know, on the right, you see a lot of like Trump supporters that are just, you know, supporting Trump and they have no idea about his policies. They don't really understand what's going on. They just hate the other side. You see people that they support the thing. They don't really know why they support it. And they just sort of repeat the information and they attack anyone who has the opposing viewpoint. Okay, those are the useful idiots. See it on the left as well, where you've got people that are just, you know, going around calling everyone racist, homophobic, and, and all these things and, and repeating the exact same thing that the people at the top told them was important. I'm being fairly neutral in this because it exists on both sides. I definitely lean towards the right, which is, which is kind of a, a very bad assessment. I don't like labels because I'm really libertarian in, in my viewpoints. Sometimes I see a lot of people that follow me that get on my cause, right? And like, and like my cause, like what's my, what's my agenda? I'm, I'm trying to teach young men how to be men today. That, that's what my agenda is, okay? In the right way. I'm not a feminist. I'm not against women either, right? I've spoken out against MGTOW, okay? And I've said some shit that really pisses off feminists and I've spoken out against them, okay? So they both hate me. Now, I get a lot of people that follow me. They might say, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with you, John. Yeah, fuck the, fuck the feminists. Fuck all women. I hate all women. Okay, and I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. That's not what I said. These are kind of the useful idiots, right? They're helping my cause to some degree, but they have no fucking clue what the actual cause is, right? They're, they're almost preaching the wrong thing. You see this with a lot of, of movements where the movements get out of hand and the person who actually orchestrated the movement, they actually disavow the movement itself because all of the useful idiots kind of took over and they started you know, promoting this thing without having a reason for it, without understanding what the, the actual philosophy behind it. That's, that's what, it, what it means to be a useful idiot, is to be someone that is very emotionally charged, okay, that's supporting a cause and a movement and not understanding the underlying philosophy or what that movement is actually trying to accomplish. In the case of, of people following me that are you know, saying racist shit and, and doing stuff like that, it's not part of my plan, Okay, to have a bunch of idiots following me and, and saying stuff. Not not saying that you guys are you guys are smart that are watching this. All right, on both sides, if you're following all the politics that are happening in the U.S., there are a lot of people in high positions of power, all right, that know how to pull the strings, and they are totally using some of you that are useful idiots. You're fighting a cause you don't even know why. You're just charged by this. You've been radicalized. You've been fed information to make you support this thing and you're spreading it and you don't even know why. You don't even know, you know that the cause is actually something that, uh, that is against you. If you look at you know, what happened in the Soviet Union and, and kind of how useful idiots were, were played there, especially by the KGB, the KGB actually acknowledged saying that, you know, that they, they were using these useful idiots and that they later eventually, you know, as, as USSR came to power and, and communism came to power in, in Russia, uh, they actually executed them. <laughs> they were the first to go. So the people that kind of brought about the, the communist revolution, they were the first to be executed uh, in that regime. You need to be a critical thinker for yourself. You know, a lot of people want to put me in a box and label me and say I'm this or that or, you know, or I support this or that. I, I, don't, I don't like any of those labels, okay? You know, I've, I've talked about MGTOW and I've, I've said some some bad things about them, but I point out some of their, their flaws, 
okay? But I'm not, quote, anti-MGTOW. The way that you can avoid being a useful idiot is to have some discernment. If you like Trump, I like Trump. He's, I, I, I think he's, he's doing a good job as a president. I think at the same time, though, do I agree with 100% of everything that he does? No. He does some stupid things. He says some stupid things on Twitter. I'm not 100% in support of that. Uh, another example that just ha happened this week was Obama. I didn't really like him as president. I didn't really like him as a person. I didn't like what he said, okay? I've been pretty much against, against a lot of what he said, but I just saw a video where he was basically calling out social justice warriors, where he was calling out the cancel culture and disavowing it and saying, hey, you guys got to stop this shit. You know, people make mistakes. People are not perfect. And like just trying to cancel anyone that you disagree with is not not the way that we should be doing this. We shouldn't be having a mob uh, mentality. I, I like what you said, right? Because I agree with that. Okay. I don't hate him as a person. I don't, I don't love Trump as a person. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like, I can pick the things that are good, that makes sense, okay? And I can throw away the things that are bad, but I don't have to characterize an entire movement or a person based on that. You should have this level of discernment so that you don't get manipulated into being part of a mob and supporting a cause that will end in your own execution. Be careful of being the useful idiot. You don't want to be furthering some cause that actually does not benefit you and could cause your, you know, you'd be the first one to be on the chopping block at the end. And I see so many people, especially a lot of young people today getting behind that, right? And you just have to be careful of any label. Anytime you call yourself, oh, I'm a Zoomer, I'm a Boomer, I'm a Doomer, I'm a Black Lives Matter, I'm a MAGA, I'm a whatever it is, you're in danger of that because you're identifying with the group. That doesn't mean that you can't have groups that you agree with a lot of what they say and you support a lot of what they say, but you also have to have that discernment. That's all I got for you today. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and make sure you take the bulldog quiz. You know, I base my actions on principles, on my principles, not on someone else's. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.